welcome to my youtube channel this is uh, sichamba jacob all right so uh in this video we're going to look at question three so this is question three twenty twenty one gce paper two so this is question three and question three was based on uh, construction all right so um to those who are watching for the first time please don't forget to subscribe and if you've done so kindly set the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i post something new so there is a bell just click on that bell which is uh, after the red button click it and uh, you'll be notified and also to those who'd like to join my online classes because online classes have started you can contact me on my number so the number let me let me just write it here it is a zero let me just write it here so that you're able to see it's a zero nine six nine seven ten fifty seven zero one so this is a number and uh, if you want the code this is a code this is how the number is it's there on whatsapp you can contact me through whatsapp and uh, you you stand better chances of uh, learning with us through whatsapp and zoom all right so uh, i think it will be again one more advice the earlier the better to those who are still waiting for january it uh, you miss out quite a lot if you don't start now so the time is now you can just contact me and then we talk on how you can join my my class that's all so now let's try to answer this question remember in order for you to answer this question you need a compass uh, you need uh, you need a pencil you need a protractor you need a ruler so these things are needed if you don't have these things it will be difficult for you to answer uh, this exam question all right so let me start the first question reads uh, construct uh, triangle e f g in which e f is 11 centimeters e g is 6.5 centimeters and g f is 10 centimeters all right so without wasting much of our time you just get the, uh, the paper put it there and uh, your compass set it nicely as well as the ruler okay so now you can get your ruler here check where is 11 centimeters where is 11 centimeters where is it falling so you check where is 11 centimeters falling so if you can see nicely this is zero here one up to 11 11 is over here and uh, quite a number of people make mistakes they start from one they start from here which is a very big mistake you need to start from uh, zero okay when measuring you always start uh, from uh, zero not from one it's uh, zero and then you go to the number that you've been given so in this case they said up to 11 so we we'll say We'll do this from here. Let me just put it somewhere here. So from here to from zero to eleven. So eleven is here, zero is here. So this is our E over here and our F is here. Don't forget to put the measurements. This is the eleven centimeters. So the next thing here is to go to question b which says um oh sorry not to go to question b we've just done this 11 centimeters we need to do ag which is 6.5 centimeters so eg is 6.5 centimeters so for eg since you have not been given the angle you need a, 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 a compass here so you set your pencil nicely you set your pencil nicely and uh, measure uh, 6.5 so you just open your your compass six from zero to six point five is say here so this is it that's it so now it's saying eg so meaning you go to point e this is point e okay over here hopefully you'll be able to see point e is uh, 
here. This is point E. So from point E there, you bisect like that. Okay? Can you see the arc? This arc, you just bisect. So that's uh, uh, 6.5. Uh, and then they're saying GF. So F is right here. So GF is 10 centimeters. So you still use the same ruler. You measure 10 so 10, 10, 10 centimeters from 0, 0 is over here, 10 is right here. So this is 10 centimeters. So you also bisect, you go to F, F is right here, then you bisect. Let me put it nice. I don't want to mess up. So you bisect, you see? bisect like that so where they are meeting that's a needed point which is the, this one so this is our G so once you do so uh, you can now join the points you join the points G is over there so join the points we're joining the points right here so make sure you put your ruler nicely. This is a this is the triangle we are talking about. So the next question they are saying um, measure the size, uh, measure and write the size of angle E G F. So measure and write the size of angle E G F. So you need to measure. So how do you measure? You need this stuff here. Okay, this is where the protractor works. So you take it to where the point is at G, because the angle is at G. How did I know that the angle is at G? Because G is the one which is in between here, between F and E, uh, e and F. So that's where the angle we are looking for is. It's here. This is the angle, the, the angle we want, this angle over here. Okay. So we we'll put our protractor right here and uh, this line should follow line E, G. And this point should be straight with the G so that you check from 0 here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. It is 80 degrees. So we can even write here, we say uh, B, okay, is... Uh, 80 degrees or you can even say angle angle e g f is 80 degrees so this is the answer right here we, we even indicate inside here we can write 80 degrees because we have found 80 degrees we go to the next question the next question they're saying within triangle EFG construct the locus of points which are equidistant from EG and EF. So once you come across a question like this, just check the letter which is common. What letter is common here is E. So meaning the line is passing at E and it should be same distance from uh, between E and G, the space from between E and G and E and F. Okay, so what you would do here is uh, we check where is E. E is right here, so meaning we need to, to we need to to we need to, const to 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 construct a line which is passing at E straight inside the triangle, or which is touching E. So in this case, we need the compass. Compass is very important; it's working a lot, works a lot here. Okay, so open it like that and then put it at E. This is E over here. So once you put the compass there at E, you bisect. So here and there. You see they have cut without uh, changing the measurements. You go to the same point, this point, the point you bisected. 
bisect and also here bisect hopefully able to see what i'm doing so i needed a point at which uh, this uh, line is passing that's a point so now you can uh, join these two points this and that inside the triangle okay you see you even indicate that this is the question what e1 so this is e1 okay you indicate it's e1 we are done we go to the next question 2.5 centimeters from e f so e f so they want a line which is passing somewhere here and the distance between that line and this should be 2.5 centimeters so we'll say we will we'll get our compass remember i said the compass and the ruler works a lot on this uh on this topic so measure 2.5 is uh right here so this is 2.5 so you go there at e because they said uh, two centimeters from ef so ef is it this line over here ef so you go to point f this is two centimeter uh, 2.5 centimeters and also this one is also 2.5 centimeters you do what i've done here you bisect and you bisect this side so now get your ruler you put the ruler on top here and right there so that you draw a line like that okay it's inside so this line is the two centimeters from here to here is two centimeter at uh, 2.5 from here to here and from here to here okay so even indicate this is e2 okay from there you go to the next question which says equidistant from from e and f so equidistant meaning this it must be equal okay from e to f the center we want the center line the line should touch the center part of e and f so on this one we need the compass okay so you check the line this line open the compass more than more than half of this line and put it right there at this point so you bisect this side so you bisect like that and also the same thing downwards here you bisect so you see here and uh, there so it was at this point now take it at the other point which is the, this one over here you bisect okay and uh, bisect there you see here there is an intersection they are meeting here the two lines are meeting here or the caves are meeting here and uh, also here so you can join these two points this one and uh, this one over here so I'm, I'm joining the two points so this line must be inside the triangle okay so this is question what e uh, e3 so this is question e3 so now we go to the last question where they say a point p within triangle efg is such that it is nearer to ef than to eg nearer to e than to uh, f and is greater than or equal to 2.5 centimeters away from ef indicate clearly by shading the region in which p must lie so here they are saying uh the point that we're dealing with okay is nearer to ef than to uh to eg so is nearer to ef than to eg meaning you see this line which is cutting here it's supposed to be near meaning it's supposed to be down this line not above this line down this line this line now this side so we have known that the other statement says nearer to e than f so nearer to e than nearer to e than f so the line which is cutting between e and f is this one so that point must be not pass 
this or must not be this side over the lines must be the other side this side of this line which is cutting e f this side so we have known here and uh, here and then they have said it, um, and it is greater than or equal to 2.5 centimeters away from e f so the 2.5 centimeter line is this one and they are saying it's greater okay away from e f so meaning supposed to be up here the region that we're talking about it's over here this is p so you can shade it it's a right here this is the region that we're talking about you can shade 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 thank you so much this is a solution thank you thank you thank you for watching the video kindly don't forget to subscribe uh i appreciate your support could you tell everybody everybody that uh, there is a youtube channel which is helping whoever is in need of help and to those who would like to do the online tuitions the number is right here remember those who be writing gce the time is now the time to start preparing for exams is now bye bye